All right, everybody. Uh, this is take like five million and four. My last one didn't save. I apologize for any squeaky chair. I really need a new chair. But so this is Indigo Rivers, and she is going to be the matron for my hundred baby challenge. I should be uploading these at least once a week. I will try for two. Um, but right now, um, this was done. I had to reload all of the sim stuff, all of my mods and everything because my video editor is having some computer issues um, and won't be able to edit my videos for a while. So I figured with the 100 baby challenge, I won't need to do much editing because I can't edit worth a crap. So this is Miss Rivers. And real quick, uh, while we're getting this recording going, I'm going to go over the rules. So we're going to create a sim to start out with, which we have done, and I'll go through her outfit um, and her traits. She can have any traits that you want. Um, but here on in, the next, uh, well, we'll get to the next one in a minute. So we're going to, we've moved her into a lot that she can afford, which I'll show you in a minute, but I am going to edit that lot quite heavily, um, here, but I'll do that off, off video, um, just because I take forever to, to do things like that. Um, now with the hundred baby challenge, you have to have a, a, many babies up to a hundred. If you get to a hundred, you win in as few generations as possible. So my goal with Indigo here is for her to have 25 mm. before we have to switch to the next matriarch. Um, so I wanna do this in four generations. Um, I may do it again and try to lower that, but for this particular challenge, we're going to aim for four generations. All right, so the basic rules are that I have to play with aging on, which I have that done, set to normal lifespan and auto aging for NPCs and courage to make sure you keep getting baby daddies. No mods that give you an unfair advantage that allow you to overstuff your household or gain money. No cheats with the exception of the BB move objects, which I'm not going to use. Um, if the matriarch moves into, or oh, if the lot, I'm reading these and I will link them below, but if your matriarch moves into a lot with existing lot traits, you may not edit or add to them. If your lot has no traits, you may pick three traits, but the decision is permanent. I have not checked that on the lot I moved her into, so we will check that in just a moment. All in-game rewards for completing aspirations and social events may be used except for the ones that prolong Sim's lifespan or save them from death. So if she dies, we may do this in more generations. So hopefully she doesn't die in a fire. Babies cannot be aged up until you get a notification saying it's their birthday. Toddlers can be aged up when they reach level 3 in all toddler skills. Children and teenagers may be aged up when they get an A in school. And young adults can be moved out of the household to make room for more children, which is good because with 25 you can't fit them all in your house. So, When the matriarch becomes an elder and can no longer bear children, her youngest daughter takes over. So that's what I was talking about. So we want to do this in four generations. So four of her daughters will take place. And I've got a little storyline for Indigo, and we'll, we'll go over that in a minute. It's kind of cheesy, but hey. You cannot make more room in the house by killing off Sims. So we can't kill off any of the babies or toddlers or allow them to be taken away by social services. She cannot have a traditional job. Okay, so she has to have a work-at-home job. Nothing that requires her to go to a location for a job. Teenagers, however, can hold part-time jobs to help support the family. Um, Indigo cannot get married while she's of childbearing age, not until she's an elder and we choose our next matriarch. The matriarch may not get pregnant by the same baby daddy twice. Donors may not contribute to the household in any way. The only caveat I'm going to make to that is if they come over and on their own or at a party and they clean up or do something, I'm not going to stop that from happening. Um, but I'm not going to call them over hoping they'll clean my house or anything like that. So really, we'll only be calling over baby daddies for birthdays and stuff like that. Um, we cannot influence the gender of our children. Oh. And we have to randomize all traits as they age. So we can't cherry pick the traits of our children. We may hire maids, gardeners, and repair technicians, but not a nanny. Now, <clears throat> we may work from home so really with her aspiration i'm planning on her to be a painter uh, maybe a writer we might throw that in um, we can make we can participate in holidays 
Um, I'm not going to have her have any pets just because they're going to take up household space. I may do a pet challenge after this at some point because I know there's like a hundred puppy and a hundred kitten challenge too, which I think would be kind of cool. Um, they cannot go on vacation if they're pregnant or have a newborn at home, but they have to take the whole household with them when they do go on vacation. So we can go with toddlers, just not pregnant or newborn. Can't be a vampire. The mat next matriarch cannot be a vampire. So we've got a child with a vampire. It will count as two babies for each supernatural, but aliens don't count because they're hybrids. But uh, vampire children cannot be eligible to be the next matriarch. So we'd have to cure them or choose a different matriarch. Um, let's see. That's pretty much it. Um, we can leave the lot. That was one that I've seen some people do where they can't leave the lot. She can leave the lot. She doesn't have to take her whole family with her to leave the lot just to go on vacation. So if she goes to work out at the gym or whatnot, that's okay. Um, and we'll go with that. So next, what I'm going to do here is we're going to show off Indigo. So this is Indigo's everyday wear. Um, she is a little eccentric and I kind of wanted to go with somebody a little colorful. So that's what we did. I'm going to click on her clothes so we can go through her outfit. There's her formal outfit. We changed the hair to a down do. And I think it's cute. Her everyday wear. Back to her rainbow hair. I am a fan of the color purple if you haven't guessed. It is her nighttime attire. Her ooh la la. Party attire. I've been a little simple with that, but I like the sweater dress. Her swimming attire. And we have a nice braided updo because nobody wants to go swimming with long hair and have it go everywhere. Simple for her, but colorful for her hot time or summer hot time, really. I think that's more the uh, ooh la la outfit. All right, and then of course her winter attire. So that's what we went with. And this is going to be a rather short video. I'm not planning on making this very long, but for her, did I not put makeup on her? I didn't. Oh my goodness. Got to do that. Can't be trying to attract the baby daddies with no makeup on. So we'll do that. I do want to go ahead and get those oh la la eyelashes. Go. And we'll just do lipsticks. I don't really do a lot of like the blushes and stuff like that. For some reason, I can never get them to look great. So, did I mention I'm not awesome at this game or anything? No, we're not going to go that way. There we go. That looks good. Or good enough, anyway. All right. So, do, is there anybody else I missed? I think she has the eyelash, yeah. Because you don't work out with a lot of makeup on. Diddy. All right, so we have her all done. Sorry about that. I didn't realize I'd missed a few things. So for our little story for Indigo, Indigo is very smart and she wanted to be a scientist. But however, she kind of didn't do well in college. She became a little bit of a poly, poly, bleh, party girl. I can't talk. I'm sorry. And she flunked out. Um, and unfortunately, she lost all her scholarships and her family wasn't able to scrape the money together. So she had to drop out of college. So she decided what she was going to do is create her own experiment. It's a genetic experiment to see how genetics function when you use different male genes with one specific female gene. Um, so that's her research. So her whole entire 100 baby challenge is genetic research. Now, she is going to love her children. She does want to be a super parent. She is family-oriented, and she is a hopeless romantic. But she is also very creative, and that is her little story. Now, she moved to Newcrest to get away from her family and friends that did not support her decision to have 100 babies. So that's where we're at. 
Now, we moved her into a very simple house. Very simple. Um, because you have to move in with the available funds. Um, I am going to go ahead and definitely fix it up. Uh, we do have $6,000 left. Um, so we're going to work on that. And eventually, as the family gets bigger, we will move into bigger houses. So I think really in this house, we have room for two, maybe three children. And then we're going to have to either expand out or move into a different house. So I'm going to go ahead and just make this a really short one for the intro. I'm going to go and go ahead and uh, edit the house how I see fit. We've got to get her um, some painting supplies and a desk put in her room. And change up some of these colors. It's so drab and horrible. But this is her house. We have a little kitchen. Completely usable. We have a fire alarm to make sure she doesn't set fire to herself. Uh, appliances. We have a kids room here, which I'll probably spruce up a little bit. And we'll focus on gaining some funds. Um, go ahead and throw me a sub if you like it my videos. Uh, I'm still working on it. I am very new to content creation, only been doing it for a month. And also don't forget to follow me on Twitch because I do stream three days a week. Um, I'm not going to be streaming this particular challenge. Um, basically for this particular challenge, um, I am going to be just uploading it to YouTube. So my Twitch link is below along with my schedule, my YouTube link, which you're already at. And my Twitter, don't forget to throw me a uh, follow on Twitter for any updates to my stream or into my videos. Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. You guys have a wonderful rest of your night.